Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. We have lots to get to this morning, including important new numbers the cattle industry is digesting and a major announcement from the Federal Reserve. After almost two years of increasing interest rates, the Fed indicating in December it would make three rate cuts this year. However, yesterday it announced it would be leaving interest rates unchanged for now and that the first rate cut is still likely months away. Let me say that we have confidence. We're, we're, we're looking for greater confidence that inflation is moving sustainably down to 2%. Implicitly, we do have confidence and it has been increasing, but we want to get greater confidence. What do we want to see? We want to see more good data. It's not that we're looking for better data. It's a, we're looking at continuation of the good data that we've been seeing. Some analysts predict a rate cut could come in March. One thing, seeing a cut, the nation's cattle herd, USDA releasing its biannual cattle inventory estimates, putting the total of all cattle and calves as of January 1st at 87.2 million head. That's 2% below the same time last year. All cows and heifers that have calved, they sit at 37.6 million head, also down 2%, while beef cows were in at 28.2 million head, again, down 2%. All of this setting up the tightest beef cattle market in more than 60 years.